Longmont Public Safety Chaplains would like to welcome you as we honor those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. During Police Week, we remember those who have made the choice to run towards danger. So I'd ask at this moment, if you would just rise for the posting of the colors. Color guard, attention. Carry colors, Hut. forward, march. Color guard, halt. Colors, post. Colors, hang. Colors, drop. Present arms. Order arms. Recover. Forward, march. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the 2020 Fallen Officer Memorial Service. For over the last 25 years, we, the chaplains who serve Longmont's Public Safety Department, have partnered with the Longmont Police Department to remember and honor law enforcement officers who were killed in the line of duty. This is a particularly weighty year for us for two reasons. The first and obvious, is the death of Officer Eric Talley of the Boulder Police Department just last month. The second reason this is a weighty year is because the Longmont Police Department family has experienced the loss of four of its longtime brother in arms, three of whom were retired, and one who was still on active duty. While they did not die in the line of duty, their loss made an already difficult year even more heavy. This year we lost Chief Harry Johns, who served the Longmont Police Department from 1959 to 1984. We lost Officer Mike Violette, who served the Longmont Police Department from 1993 to 2009. We lost Sergeant Mike Bell, who served the Longmont Police Department from 1989 to 2017. And most recently we lost Commander Chris Schmad who served Longmont Police Department from 1991 to this year, 2021. We remember and honor them today for their years of selfless service to our community. And now as we get ready to honor and remember those we have lost in the line of duty, let's take a moment to pray over this service. Pray with me. Oh Lord, watch over us today as we remember those who have given their lives to protect others. We ask that our actions here today might give honor to them, courage to us, and praise to you. We would pray that you would protect these officers from harm in the performance of their duties as they seek to stop crimes, violence, and chaos in our community. We pray that you would help them keep our streets and homes safe day and night. We commend them to your loving care because their duty is dangerous. Grant them your unending strength and courage in their daily assignments. 
Dear God, protect these brave men and women and unite them safely with their families after their duties end. We pray this in your name. Amen. On April 10th, 1962, President John F. Kennedy issued Proclamation 3466, declaring Police Week and Peace Officers Memorial Day to be held each year in the month of May. President Kennedy thought it important that the citizens of the United States understand the duties, responsibilities, and challenges our law enforcement officers face in order to protect our country. Police Week was put in place to publicly recognize the selfless contributions of police officers to better our society. Furthermore, Police Officers Memorial Day was established to recognize federal, state, and municipal peace officers who were killed in the line of duty. In 1991, the Law Enforcement Officers Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. Each spring, names are added to this memorial to recognize fallen officers. There are more than 22,000 names listed in this memorial, recognizing those who have fallen. Colorado has additionally established a memorial for its fallen officers. The Colorado Law Enforcement Memorial is located at the State Patrol Academy in Golden, Colorado. Today, we are gathered here in Longmont, Colorado to recognize, to honor, and to remember the officers who, in 2020, have served us in the highest capacity by sacrificing their lives for our safety. A proclamation designating the week of May 9th through 15th, 2021 as National Police Week. And further designating May 15th, 2021 as Peace Officers Memorial Day in Longmont, Colorado. Whereas the Congress and President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as National Police Week. And whereas the members of the Longmont Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the residents of Longmont, Colorado. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifices of their law enforcement agency, and that members of our law enforcement agency recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression. And whereas the Peace Officer Memorial Service will be broadcast at 5 p.m on May 14th to help ensure the health and safety of the Longmont community. Now, therefore, I, Aaron Rodriguez, Mayor Pro Tem, and the City Council of the City of Longmont call upon all citizens of Longmont and upon all patriotic, civic, and educational organizations to observe the week of May 9th through 15th, 2021 as Police Week with appropriate ceremonies and observances in which all of our people may join in commemorating law enforcement officers, past and present, who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their communities and in so doing have established for themselves an enviable and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. I further call upon all citizens of Longmont to observe Friday, May 15th, as Peace Officers Memorial Day in honor of those law enforcement officers who through their courageous deeds have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to their community or have become disabled in the performance of duty and let us recognize and pay respect to the survivors of our fallen heroes. Thank you. In 2020, we lost 360 law enforcement officers in our nation. This is according to the Officer Down Memorial website. We are here to honor law enforcement officers who lost their lives in the line of duty in 2020. We lost three in the state of Colorado. Today we honor Jeffrey Hopkins. Deputy Sheriff Jeff Hopkins died after contracting COVID-19 while on duty in El Paso County Criminal Justice Center. He was serving at the jail's intake 
when he had confirmed exposure to other employees who were symptomatic and later confirmed to have COVID-19. Deputy Hopkins had served with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office for 20 years. He is survived by his wife and his parents. Beginning in early 2020, thousands of law enforcement officers and other first responders throughout the country contracted COVID-19 during the worldwide pandemic due to requirements of their job. Many of these first responders have died as a result of COVID-19. Ranger Brendan Unit, he drowned while responding to a distressed boater on the Horsetooth Reservoir near Soldier Canyon Dam at about 9.30 p.m. Ranger Unit had been conducting a foot patrol at the campgrounds on the west shore of the reservoir when a strong wind event occurred. He was dispatched to assist a distressed boater. But when he returned to his boat, he discovered it had been blown off the shoreline. It is believed that he removed his flotation device in an attempt to swim to the boat to retrieve it. A massive search was undertaken when he failed to arrive at the distressed boater call or respond to the dispatchers. His body was later recovered at approximately 3.30 a.m. the following morning. Ranger Unit was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and had served with the Larimer County Department of Natural Resources for six months. From Commerce City, Detective Kurt Holland was killed when his department vehicle was struck head-on by a drunk driver near the intersection of Colorado 2 and Turnberry Parkway. The drunk driver was traveling southbound on Colorado 2 at a high rate of speed when his pickup crossed the center line and struck Detective Holland's vehicle head-on. The pickup truck then struck another car driving behind Detective Holland. Detective Holland and the driver of the second vehicle were both killed in the crash. The drunk driver was seriously injured. Detective Holland had served with the Commerce City Police Department for four years. He is survived by his wife and two children. And finally, very close to home, we want to honor, although it's not in 2020, but Officer Eric Talley from 2021. Police Officer Eric Talley was shot and killed at about 2.30 p.m. while responding to an active shooter incident at the King Supers grocery store at 3600 Mesa Table Drive in Boulder. Officer Talley was the first officer to arrive at the scene and was shot as he engaged the gunman. The suspect was taken into custody a short time later after being wounded. The subject murdered a total of 10 people, including Officer Talley during the incident. Officer Talley had served with the Boulder County, Boulder Police Department for 11 years. He is survived by his wife, seven children, and parents. I would like to offer Psalm 23, asking God to send comfort and safety to all police and fire personnel. First, I will be doing it in Hebrew. Mizmor le David, Adonai, Roi lo Echzer, Bino Sheshi Arbitzeni, Ame Menuchot, Naleni, Naf Shi Yishov Yancheni, Magli Tzedek, Leman Shemo, Kam Kielich Begates Amaves, Lo Irara, Kiatai Madi, Shitecha Mishantecha, He Mayenachamuni, Taruk Lefane Shulchan, Neget so rode the shant of Shem Roshi, Kosi Revaya, Ach Tova Hachi de Funiko Mechaya, Peshafti Bevet Aduna, Ilio Rechiamim. A psalm by David. The Eternal is my shepherd, I shall not lack. In verdant meadows does he lay me down, beside tranquil waters does he lead me. My soul does he restore, he will guide me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk in the dark wilderness, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod of affliction and your staff of kindness, they comfort me. You prepared before me a table against my enemies. You anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. May only goodness and kindness pursue me in all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of eternal for the length of our days. Amen. I will be reading a modern translation of the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 
3 to 10. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Thin Blue Line. There's a thin blue line which runs through the center of darkness. The darkness represents the evil in this world. The thin blue line represents our peacekeepers. The line is representative of the brotherhood, sisterhood of a few good men and women amongst the sea of darkness. The line that stands between good and evil, the barrier that serves those in need and protects them from the evil amongst us. It is thin because few dare to stand it. A line that will not falter in the wake of chaos. A line of protection for those in need. The police officer's prayer says this, Lord, help me to serve and protect and uphold the laws of the land. Help me to keep the peace with courage and dignity and to use sound judgment in all situations if force should become necessary, may it be in good conscience. Let me never forget the humanity in all people. When earthly justice sometimes fails, I know heavenly justice will prevail. Watch over me and my fellow officers as we work for the community's safety. Be my companion on my daily bear and the long night watches. Put my loved one's worries to rest as you guide and protect me. May I honor my uniform by serving the community with courtesy and integrity. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Interim Public Safety Chief Spinlow. Thank you. My name is Rob Spinlow. I am the Interim Longmont Public Safety Chief. I am honored to have the opportunity to participate in the Longmont 2021 Peace Officer Memorial. 2020 was a difficult time for emergency response due to COVID and perhaps even more difficult due to the mixed feelings towards police officers throughout the United States as we navigated a pandemic and civil unrest. We, feel, we felt fortunate that our residents embraced community policing in the mid 80s and adopted policies in early 2000, which did not parallel policies questioned in other parts of the United States in 2020. Longmont takes great pride and value in seeking officers who can apply their life experience and education to solve problems and resolve conflict effectively. We seek officers who are inspired by the role they take in giving back to their communities. Our ultimate goal is to partner with the people of the city of Longmont to build the best quality of life available together. The impact of these changes made 30 years ago resulted in overwhelming support during 2020. The department received hundreds of cards, artwork, food, notes and letters from the public. We are very grateful for your support. The community does not always hear about the extra mile that Colorado officers unselfishly take to assist a resident without expecting anything in return. And they do this over and over again every day of the year. As an example, Longmont Officer Slack responded to a call from a concerned citizen referenced a stranded individual who did not speak English. Through the use of the language app, he discovered that she was stranded at a Longmont gas station with a one-way airline ticket. She had about two hours before she had to board her flight and her rideshare options for transportation had failed. Officer Slack stepped up and took her to the airport. Despite the challenges and high risks in law enforcement, 
Each of these officers report to work every day, not knowing the hurdles or dangers they may encounter that day. Some days residents are experiencing their worst day ever. Some days officers make a difference to someone who urgently needs someone to talk to. Sometimes officers just want to go home and, and hug the people they love. It is both a desire for every day to be unique and a desire for a rewarding career that makes off an officer put on a uniform every day and go to work. As they close that door behind them, they regularly miss special events with their families to serve the community they are united with, not knowing if they will come home safely at the end of that shift. The dedication and sacrifice of these officers are not valued by all, but despite the challenges of being in law enforcement, they still do it anyway. They lay down their lives each day to protect and serve unselfishly without hesitation. They are brave, but we know sometimes they are scared. They know the fear and they do it anyway. They do it willingly. However, it's not just the officers that are committed to the life of public safety. We often overlook spouses, parents, siblings, and children of law enforcement who explicitly know what it means to share the lives with someone who serves in a capacity and a profession that can result in decisions and life and death. If you asked any of these family members, they would tell you they know the danger and they too believe in what the officers do. We know that life goes on, but the pain and loss do not go away when we lose an officer, often to a, a senseless, tragic incident. A former FBI director once said at a presentation for families of officers, which I believe is worth repeating, you are strong, you are honorable, and you are brave beyond measure. The legacies of those we have lost live on through all of you and through their fellow officers across the country and around the world. Those legacies live on through communities that are safer and stronger because of the work they did. They live on when criminals no longer hold good neighborhoods hostage when children walk home from school without fear. We will continue the work they began, but we will never forget. We will recover, but we will never forget. Longmont Public Safety honors the three Colorado officers we lost in 2020 and most recently Boulder Officer Eric Talley. We also recognize and honor the over 12,000 Colorado peace officers who serve our state unselfishly every day. We cannot thank you enough for your dedication and service. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy signed a proclamation designating May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which that date falls as National Police Week. Today, May 15th, 2021, we honor the memory of these fallen officers. In 2020, 264 law enforcement officers nationwide paid the ultimate sacrifice while serving their communities, an increase of 96% from 2019. The year 2020 will go down as the year of the most line of duty fatalities since 1974 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. May they all rest in peace. These officers are now end of watch. Dispatch is clear. Detail, halt. Left, face. Order, on. Ceremonial, rest. Fire party, prepare to fire three volleys. Stand by, attention. Put, on. Half right, face. Ready.
We Remember. This was composed by a former chaplain, Bill Lee, in the year 2002. We remember. We remember a time of sorrow and of grief. We offer our prayers and concern. We can only imagine the hurt and pain. We remember. We denounce acts of violence. We affirm our solidarity with all. We believe. We remember a time of searching. We remember a time to search for peace. Now is the time for silence and prayer. Now is the time for our belief, for a call to continue our search, our search for peace as we remember. And now receive this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and grant you his peace. Amen. Color Guard, attention. Port, arms. Forward, march. Color Guard, halt. Color Guard, post. Present arms. Order arms. Retire colors. Cut. Colors about. Cut. Recover. Forward, march.